Friday Workshop. What is Friday Workshop? Friday Workshop to make things really nice. What are we doing the workshop? <laughs> what are we doing this week? This week we're making the prehistoric Hagerman horse. What? Yeah. <laughs> so Dom had a school project, right? Where he's got to talk about the Hagerman horse, and we thought, why not do a video on it? So here we go. Okay. So typically, what we do when we cut out something on the bandsaw is we draw this stuff ourselves. We have Dom draw it himself, right? But we found this guy online who cut out this beautiful horse, uh, Terry Spade, and we wanted to support him. So we went to his Etsy and we bought your template. But what we did is Dom modified this to look more like a Hagerman horse, and he'll tell you how he modified it and why he made some modifications to it. So the first thing we need to do is get a nice little piece of two by four that's good enough to have the horse on it. Chop off a little bit right here to get a good piece of two by four between here and here. So that's what we're gonna do first. In case you guys were wondering why we use clear tape, it's so that when we cut this out, we can actually see it. So if you're wondering why I made these modifications, that is because a Hagen horse is a little bit different than our modern day horse. It's more like a zebra and a donkey mix. You, we had to make the neck a bit thicker right here, make the belly a bit fatter, get rid of this incline a little bit, make it bigger there, show on the legs, and that's pretty much it. Before we get started with this, let's spit some facts about the Hagerman horse. The Hagerman horse was a relatively short horse, it averaged from 43 to 57 inches tall. The Hagerman horse was usually 385 pounds to 847 pounds. All right, to prevent craziness, we're gonna tape it back together before we cut out the rest of it. The Hagerman horse lived in the western United States and some parts of Mexico. Usually it lived around Idaho and Montana and sometimes parts of Oregon. If you look closely at the Hagerman horse, it more resembles a zebra than a horse. The Hagerman horse is the oldest resemblance of a modern day horse considered the first true horse. This thing's looking pretty good, but let's sand this to smooth it out. First up, 80 grit sandpaper. Next up, 120 grit sandpaper. Two twenty grit sandpaper. It's mineral spirits time. Activate code one zero one zero one. That's all you have to do. You just have to press a random button, and stuff comes to you. It doesn't have to be plugged in. So if you're wondering what mineral spirits does, it basically just prepares your product for the finish. It cleans off all the sawdust and gets it all ready. So, here we go. Now let it dry and then do the finish. Go try this at home, it will most likely not succeed. Oh, oh. Hey, <laughs> But did this time! <laughs> You're wondering what kind of stain I'm using right now. It is a cherry stain. For wood. 
Now we let it dry and then wipe it off. Time to put on some shellac. It protects it from the elements and puts on a nice glossy finish. Now we let it dry and then probably do another coat. Boom! There it is, there's the Hagerman horse. The Hagerman horse. The thing is slick looking, holy cow. I have a question for you, Dad. Before we started making this video, did you know what a Hagerman horse was? Uh, yes, but only because we're from Idaho. <laughs> uh, viewers, did you know what a Hagerman horse was? Please click on the link below, write a comment. Um, see if you like the, uh, the horse. Yeah. And if you like videos like these, check out this one. <laughs> like and subscribe.